Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and I'm back with another look. And I'm really excited because for today's video, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis palette all over again. Um, and I'm going to be using one of the Murillo's Twins um, lip kits and you, you guys will see which one. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so I'm starting off with some eye gels and these are from Petchology. I did get these at Morphe and they work really well to hydrate underneath your eyes and prep them before um, applying concealer. So it is really early in the morning and I woke up to film so I just really want to get that hydration underneath my eyes. And yeah, moving on to the next step, I'm going to go ahead and apply an eyeshadow primer. And for eyeshadow primer, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. And I am going to go ahead and um, apply that on my eyes. And I'm going to be using a P. Lewis um, brush for this. And I'm going to be blending it out as well with a Morphe brush. And I started off with one eye and I'm going to move on to the next. And I'm just making sure it's all blended. I did. I went ahead and I fast forward this just so um, this video won't be so so long since I'm gonna do a full. I am doing a full face. And yeah, I'm just um, making sure that it's even. And now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it all out. And for that, I am gonna be using my Elf sponge and it is damp wet so there I am smoothing it all out and then um, for my eyeshadow my transition color I am using um, sneak a kiss for that and I am applying it with a Morphe and 503 brush and I do apply it on the I am gonna apply it on the outer corner and up to my crease. I'm just gonna work it, work my way up with it. So I just um, blend it all out. This is such a pretty color, like it, it's really pigmented. And my primer grab on really well so um yeah I really liked how this came out <laughs> what can I see right <laughs> um so yeah I'm just blending it all out and making sure that I'm satisfied with how it looks And I just like to grab um, little by little. I don't like to go all in with the eyeshadow. I hope this video is not, um, I know it's like I fast forwarded, but <laughs> I hope you guys are okay with that. Okay, you guys, so now I went ahead and chose the color Vineyard Escape for my outer corner, and I am using the Morphe M456 brush, and this is a shading brush, so um, I'm going to use it to apply this color, and I am going to, uh, I started off by applying it on my outer corner, and I'm going to work my way up to the crease, like I did with the other color as well. and. This shadow is really pigmented and I just have to blend it out well or else it will look like I have a purple eye. <laughs> so I went ahead and I fast forward this clip as well because other than if I wasn't, if I wouldn't have fast forwarded, I know this video would be really, really long. As it is, it's really long already. <laughs> But um, if you love makeup and like me, you are going to enjoy it. <laughs> so 
so now I went ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead back in with Tika K, sorry, and I'm gonna blend out um, this Fine Yard Escape shadow and make sure there is no lines. We want it to be well blended, of course. And then I went back in with that M456 brush and I deepened it out again. I really just like to um, make sure that it's like, that I'm fully satisfied <laughs> before I add my lid color because I can't go back anymore. I mean, I can't go, I could go back, but I prefer not to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my shimmer color and for sh shimmer color, <laughs> um, I chose Sun Bath and I am applying it with my ring finger just because um, I feel like the, fing the finger, <laughs> the ring finger, you apply, it applies way better than a brush. A shimmer is applied better with a finger than a brush, my bad. And I am going to go ahead and use that um, Vineyard Escape color again. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my outer corner. I went ahead and put that on my outer corner just so I won't have any lines. And then I like to clean up my, the end of my shadow with a wipey. Just to get that sharp shadow look. And then now I went ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner to give myself a wing liner and I am going to move on to lashes and I am using the Beauty Creations Mink Lashes in Wild and I love these lashes so so much they give me that look <laughs> that I like okay you guys so now I'm going to prime my skin and I am using the Becca Brighten and Blur Primer and I really love this primer as you can see I'm almost all out and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my foundation. I'm gonna I'm using the Nars Soft Matte Foundation in the color Aruba, and I really love this foundation, you guys. Um, first I apply it with my fingers, and then I go over it. it I go over <laughs> with my um sponge, and I'm using the Elf sponge for this, and it is damp wet. I love the outcome that I get when I use my damp beauty blender well it's not a beauty blender but it is the elf sponge and it works as great as the beauty blender i love it so much and then i'm gonna contour a little with the benefit boing concealer in shade number 10 and i'm using a real techniques brush for this i really love this brush you guys it works really really good to blend out that concealer that I'm using as my contour <laughs> and yeah like it looks really really good I really like it and I'm gonna apply a little bit more I like to go I like to not apply so much at first I like to just work my way if I feel like I need more I'll put more but I do have to work with it fast because this concealer does dry up quickly so yeah you just gotta be quick with it <laughs> I wish I could be as fast as like how I just fast forward it editing editing it <laughs> and then fast forward it so now I'm going back in with my beauty blender and as you can see it still has foundation on it so that's good because that kind of just blends everything together and now I'm using my Benefit Boing Concealer in the shade number 6 to conceal and pretty much highlight. I use it. I use it like I use it for both things. And I do my, I um, highlight my nose and my forehead. And I'm going to go in with my sponge and I'm going to go in, use the clean side for this. And I'm just going to go ahead and like blend everything out. And I do like to um, 
I like to go over my, the sides of my nose and I like to um, use it on the side of my eye as well just to give me that lifted effect. <laughs> so yeah, I make sure that um, my concealer doesn't crease and I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Make sure everything is like well blended and looks soft. Once I feel like everything is um, smooth and I have no creases, I'm going to go ahead and set. But for now, I'm just making sure everything, I have no creases and everything is so smooth. And I like to go in with the other side, as you can see, just to um, blend everything together. And I, do my, I also do my forehead and I pinch a sponge um, in order for me to go down the bridge of my nose. just so I won't have too much highlight on my nose. And I like to get the sides of it. And yeah, I just go over it with the, with the foundation side. And once I, I make sure that I have no creases, in order for me to set, So once I feel like I am ready to set, I am going to go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit for this. And I'm going to use a light, light shade. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write it down below on the details. And I'm using a Morphe to brush for this. I'm setting it first and then I'm gonna bake but for now I am setting it with a brush and I'm setting my forehead as well and I am gonna set with the one and only one size translucent powder and I love this powder so so much um, you can right away tell how it blurs how much it blurs down my pores and I'm gonna go ahead and put some on with my sponge and then you're gonna see the difference right away so I'm gonna go ahead and bake with this and I'm gonna apply it on the sides of my nose as well I really really do love this powder so so much And now I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe M157 brush. And I am going to go ahead and use those two shades I used first, which is the Sneak a Kiss. And then I'm going to deepen it out with the Vineyard Escape shadow. I feel like this completes the eye look. It just complements the eye very, very well. Okay, you guys, moving on to the lips. I am using the lip liner in the color MOA by Beauty Creations. This is the collab they did with the Murillo Twins. And this lip liner is really, really bomb. And I am using the lip gloss instead of the lipstick. Just because um, I do want a, a glossy lip today and yeah, I'm just shading it in and because I want more definition on my lips, I want it to look more, I want them to look a little more plump. So yeah, um, this is the lip gloss in Only B and it is such a perfect combo and yep that is it you guys this is it um i am ready to go nowhere but um yeah that is it i love it so much thank you guys so much for watching okay you guys so this is a final look thank you so much for watching um 
I hope you guys um, did enjoy my video and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment something sweet down below and yeah until next time, bye!